Hello one and all, welcome to another instalment from the channel that is Jono's Graveyard Jaunts. If you are enjoying the content of the channel so far, can I please ask you to like, subscribe, comment and also hit the notification button, i.e. the bell icon, which lets you as the viewer know when I'm next uploading to YouTube. Now to subscribe to the channel does not cost anything, it just helps the channel to grow and means we can venture further afield to produce ever more interesting content for you as the viewer. Now for today's video, I'm going to be featuring another American icon who also moved to and lived in the Midlands from America. This person was a singer songwriter and probably most famously known for his very powerful anti-Vietnam War hit single War. The man who features in today's video is the music legend Edwin Starr. In today's video, I shall visit the street art that was unveiled in Broxtow in Nottinghamshire in November of 2018 on Station Road, featuring a mural of the late great Motown star. I shall also visit his final resting place here in Nottingham at the Southern Cemetery. Charles Edwin Hatcher, aka Edwin Starr, was born in Nashville, Tennessee on January the 21st, 1942. Edwin was raised and educated in Cleveland, Ohio. In 1962, after completing two years of military service in the USA and Germany, he moved to Detroit, the automobile city. By the middle of the decade, he was a member of the artists on the up-and-coming Rick Tick label under Ed Wingate. Together they released one immortal Northern Soul hymn after another, songs like Agent O.O. Soul, SOS Stop Her On Sight, and headline news, which in turn laid the foundations for Edwin's continuing worldwide fame. In 1968, Berry Gordy, who founded Motown Records in Detroit in January of 1959, swallowed up the Rick Tick artist and Edwin suddenly found himself on the great Motown record label. He got off to a good start with Motown with I Am The Man For You Baby but it was with 25 Miles in 1969 that things really took off. Now Edwin was a somewhat unusual member of the Motown family in that he co-wrote some of his numbers and stood out for the Motown program with his rough soul shouts. The visionary producer, Norman Whitfield, who produced The Temptations, Gladys Knight, Rose Royce, etc., was looking for just the kind of voice that Edwin Starr had. He chose Edwin to sing the re-recording of the song War, Her, What Is It Good For, Absolutely Nothing, and the single marched all the way to number one. Now Starr remained a hero in England's Northern Soul Circuit and moved to England in 1983, continuing to live here for the remainder of his life. He based himself in the English Midlands, living for many years at Pawley Hall at Polesworth, Warwickshire, before moving to Branco in Nottinghamshire. Starr died on April the 2nd, 2003, from a heart attack at his Nottinghamshire home. He was just 61. Here we are at Wolford Cemetery, the final resting place of Edwin Starr. In lovely memory of Charles Edwin Hatcher, uh, Agent O.O. Soul, Edwin Starr, 1942 to 2003. Keep the faith, always loved, never forgotten. And it's a beautiful cemetery where Edwin is laid to rest. It's, he's perched on the highest point of the cemetery. And I'm just showing you around the area. So we go downhill. So he's, he's really got the, I think the best location in the cemetery. So this is Wolford Cemetery. And there we are overlooking Nottinghamshire in the background. Rest in peace, Edwin. Thank you for the amazing music. Three iconic Nottinghamshire legends. There's a legendary Edwin Starr, whose grave we've just been to visit. Richard Beckinsale was born in Carlton in Nottinghamshire. If you're a big fan of porridge, he played Godpa, uh, an amazing supporting role to the legendary Ronnie Barker in the prison sitcom. He sadly died at 31 years old from a heart attack. And Paul Smith, who's born here in Beeston, he's still with us, he's an iconic fashion designer. So here we are on Station Road in Beeston. 
This was commissioned and unveiled in 2018, this street art.